right where that roller is in front of me, that rock grade is at tie, the bottom of tie level right there. Hey, Tim, you copy? Yes, I do. Hey, I'm going to be going to get a load of rock. Um, where were we transferring at? No. Right in the middle of Front Street. If you uh, turn on, uh, oh shoot, Hood Street, or any of those, and come on to Front Street and head south, there's just fine anywhere along that road there. Hi, so it's a nice fall day today. And I'm out actually in my work parking lot and I thought I'd just take a break and show you how I installed my CB into this little Honda Fit that we have. Um, what I've got is a little Cobra um, 75WXST that I installed. And what I did, uh, I also have this, use this in my truck right now, and I, they, these you can just unplug right here um, and uh, put it into either uh, any vehicle that you have a box. And the box is this thing right here. It's really small, and uh, you can get those for like 20 bucks on Amazon. And so you can put those in as many vehicles and then you just carry this and switch it over. It's actually pretty cool. So, um, I do have this hooked up, ready to go. Get the scan going. What I did, I tried to find videos of uh, how to wire these into Honda Fit because uh, my truck, which is a 2017 Ram, 2500 is was really easy to get the wire through the fire wall uh, This though it is so sealed up. I could not find an opening and people said underneath The glove box on the passenger side There's a, a grommet that you could go through but I couldn't find it and I would have had to string it all the way across the engine anyhow to get to the battery because the battery is on the driver's side so what I ended up doing was installing the box, which this hold on a second, this box can actually come out. I, ju I just have it um, stuck down in there. I brought the wire here and then up and then under the dash going along here and um, brought it through the door, which isn't the best, but, uh, and then into the fender well, which is um, not sealed completely, but it is pretty weatherized. And then, let me open the hood up and I'll show you real quick. What I did was just bring it right through the fender there, down, around, and uh, hooked it to the battery terminal, and then to uh, the ground wire. I hooked it right there. And, uh, and that's all I did. So as far as the antenna goes, I installed that Wilson Little Wheel on the roof and I ran the cable through the hatch, down under the floor and uh, beside the seat and then under the floorboard or the floor mat up to the box on the, of the CB. So the only uh, thing, and that works great, the only thing I do differently, which I'm gonna change is I'm going to take this cable and run it on the outside of this wiring here so that I can get the antenna off easier. I think I can fit that magnet mount through here so I can put the antenna in here when we're not using the CB. Um, but uh, that's the one thing I'm going to change. Otherwise, everything worked well. The antenna is working well. I haven't got a range test at all yet, but I pick up quite a bit. Um, I mean, I'm in downtown Salem, so. Um, as you heard the, earlier, the people talking on the radio were probably close to a mile away down uh, that way. And uh, so I could pick them up pretty well, even with all the trees and stuff. Uh, right now I'm getting my SWR on that. It's about 1.5 on 1 and 40. When I first hooked it up without any tuning at all, I was getting a 1.1 1 .1, or no, a 1.2 on 1, channel 1 and a three, I think, on uh, channel 40. 
So I kind of had to just balance that out and it was about a 2.1 on channel 20. So I just kind of balanced those out, um, trimmed the bottom of the antenna a little and ended up with a 1.5 all the way across. So anyhow, um, that's uh, how this is working in this, in my Honda Fit. And what I'm going to do in my truck, which as I mentioned, is a 2017 Ram 2500. I, I just bought a Uniden 980 SSB that I'm going to wire in on that one. And I'll do that video shortly. I'm gonna I'm plan on doing that tomorrow or the next day. And uh, for my pickup though, I have a, a 102 inch stainless steel whip antenna that I'm using and with this uh, little Cobra 75, I'm getting 1.1 uh, SWR all the way on every channel, the way I have that mounted. And uh, I actually thought I had something wrong, so I called CB World, and they uh, talked me through it and checked it, and uh, we figured out that that is the real reading. So I guess I just got lucky with that one. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Doug. Okay, so I turn left on a hood street or whatever, then turn left on front, and just find a spot in the middle of the road somewhere. Yep, yep. Make sure you uh, get past uh, Market, because Market is right where the dead end is. So I'll turn on Market and run that across over to front? For you, yes, because then you can just head out toward Kaiser. So for you, turn it market. Make sure you turn on the light. Crossing that Liberty or commercial is a mother. Okay, so turn on market, go to front, and then turn right and then drop the trailer. Yes, sir. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. Okay, what kind of rock are we picking up? Two and a quarter miles rock for the railroad. Three quarter miles, right? Three and a quarter miles rock for the railroad. And you have to lightweight when you have to cough and mute, but you want two and a quarter ballast. Ten four, two and a quarter ballast. Thanks, Steve. I'll get my tear weight. <laughs>